Okay, welcome. This is for assignment 131. This is the final project for the semester. Now, this assignment says you can be an interactive story, you can be a game, or you can be some interactive animation. That's what it says officially. But I want to talk about what it's going to be for my class. So I, I'd say that the key thing right here is to have fun with this project. You should be able to be creative. I played a video earlier that I'm going to link in this video that you can watch. I think programming should be fun. We've done a lot of fun things. Expand on some old project. Do whatever you like. Well, let's lock to the details. So you can make an interactive story, make some kind of visuals with it with the turtles would be really nice. You can expand on the interactive story from last time. Great. An animation or just like some fancy drawing like we did for the first quarter in the project for 119, I think it was. Or you can make a game. And we did a bunch of game examples if you want to kind of use those to make a game. It's up to you. The requirement number one is to have fun. Because if you're not having fun with this, I'm sorry. Like, do something you enjoy. I, I don't want you to worry about uh, trying to make loops happen or make lists happen or to use every functions and uh, every to, to define functions and do all this Python stuff. I, I want you to create something that you enjoy doing and make it happen. Maybe you use those tools, maybe you don't. It doesn't matter to me as long as you are creating something that you enjoy. So write down who's in your group. It can be yourself or a group of three, whatever. Tell me what you plan to make. Uh, ex explain what, if you have any input we're going to be putting in your basic user input or, you know if you don't have anything say I don't know if you're gonna use lists or strings explain what you think you're gonna use in that or say I don't know same thing with for for and while loops I'm guessing you're probably gonna use some kind of loops or if else statements or something but eh. if you don't know for now say I don't know do you create functions if you think you will what they're used for I'm gonna show you my example of all this and then this is important like what do you think you need to review so after you think through all this, what you want to make, just like with the picture thing, I want you to chunk this up. I want you to break it up into pieces. How, how do you make this feasible? Because one big project might be tough to plan out. So try to come up a way to make this feasible. And then I want you to kind of figure out a timeline. This is what we're looking at to the end of the semester, distance learning right now. So giving you a lot of time to be creative with this. Why not? Uh, plan out what you think. So this is day one. I'm going to say um, up with the plan. Probably that's going to be day one. Uh, break out your chunks. So let me show you what I'm doing for my right here. So I'm going to make that Among Us, in, uh, you know, how I made that one task, but never really finished it. Well, I want to make a, an interactive Among Us story. And then... So it's an interactive story, but then when they go do the tasks, those games actually pop up on Turtle and you do those. So I can have like, well, hopefully I keep it as simple games. So I can have kind of both going. So an interactive story with using some of the Turtle and visualization stuff, hopefully you have some fun with that. Or I'm going to have some fun. I don't know how far I'm going to get with this. So then you can go, oh, do you have imposters? And how do you want to do this? All sorts of little things that can add on. But if you start thinking about this, there's a lot of things. You, there's a lot of craziness, right? So start playing around. Like, first thing you got to think about is like, well, where, what tasks do I want to do? Some of them are harder to program than others. Like that Simon Says task, I ain't doing that. Um, some uh, that just might be more annoying to do. Um, some of the tasks like you have to do one before the others. Do I want to do those? I, so I, I, my decision has been to avoid those for now. Uh, things that I can do. It, and like seeing like the med bay like inspecting a sample that's i don't want to do the two parters we ain't gonna do that um doing wires i could do those pretty easy so that that might be tasks i do so i kind of went through all this like this thing sure you can probably do it so i went through the task right here and earlier and i said okay i can do the prime the shields thing if you don't know where that is the map down here i can do like a med bay scan because that's just a one-off thing I can do like trash shoots that are in cafeteria storage. I'll do uh, reactors. I'll like you click all the numbers. 
And they're on that one through 10, right? Empty garbage, you can do wires there in a few places. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And all that circle things, I think the, I forgot what they were called that I did before, I forget some name. So I'm gonna do all that. That's my plan for now. Yeah, could you do weapons and shoot asteroids? That might be kind of tough. I don't know, maybe you do that. I mean, we've done things where we've had like balls appear on the screen, you click them. That's basically asteroids. Actually, you could probably just take that circle clicking game. Bring it in there. Yes, I can. I'm Mauricio. All right. So that's what I'm doing with mine. I chunked it up as I make a flow chart, program the story without tasks. It's just, just like text based and then try to add those tasks in. All right. Uh, my plan here is planning it today. Let's code the story. I'm going to, I'm doing some of that today too. And then, so I'm going to finish that tomorrow and then by Friday, I want to add imposters to this because I, I think there's got to be some way where, like, you add imposters. And I'm thinking of some ways. And then I'll finish the story. I'm saying I might need that much time just to write the story, flush it all out. And then I'm going to add tasks. Maybe I can have this done. I probably can have it done by this Friday, though. I probably should have it done. And then I can just spend all this time adding as many tasks as they want to actually be on the turtles. Maybe they aren't all there. So I'll have it done by finals. So my first thing to plan out this story... And I like using Lucid Chart. We used this in class before. Maybe you do this by paper, but you want to kind of like do a flow chart to map out like how that interactive story goes. So here's what I've got so far. I want to have my starting thing. My crewmate's going to start. And then you have a check. Are the tasks done? Yes or no? If they are done, you win. If they aren't done, where do you want to go for tasks? So we'll have all the places I want to, I chose on that list I showed earlier. I said, okay, nav, shield, storage, electric, med bay reactor, cafeteria, wherever I want to go. And then there's a task at each of those. So let's say they go to navigation. They'll download. Okay, that was before when I was thinking I was going to do data, but I'm not doing that now. So let's say they go to cafeteria. They do the empty the garbage bin task. And they check, are their tasks done, yes or no? And then we just keep looping a circle thing in electric. We'll just keep looping back until we're done. That's my plan. Now, how will I do imposter? I think, I'm, like, you know, what if an imposter gets you and then the game's over? I'm going to say the game's over if that happens. So maybe I have that kind of stuff happen. How do I want to keep track? How many tasks do people have to do? Do they have to do every task? Um, so I have to think about some of that stuff here. But now I want to get into programming my interactive story. So I'm going to go to Replit. And I'll show you what I've done so far. I'm gonna have to walk through a lot of this, right? And I'm, I'm gonna program more of it. But I go back to like, okay, when I was doing a blank one, I was like, I don't remember how to do any story here. So this is that Star Wars one. If you remember, don't kiss your sister. Like go back. Now, the way I'm, I'm gonna set this up is I define this function and then we go from there. And then we had these timestamps in there, choices, yes or no. There was like, if they do the wrong one. So I'm gonna take this as my example. And I'm not gonna run this right now, but I wanna remember what this example is so I can use it right here. All right. So how do I wanna do this? Do I wanna start off fresh? No, I'm not gonna start off fresh. So I'll share this code and what, how far we got on this. So the, the idea is I want to start with I imported time. Eventually, I'll put turtles in here, but I'm holding off for now. All right. And I like defining this function. And then what happens at the end is where, like, I remember, like, the, the previous, like, making the game, we had our configuration files right up here. And then I, I put that inside this function. I guess I could put these outside the function. Maybe I want to. For now, I'm not doing that, though. And then, so I, I define that function, and then right over here, this is going to run that function. I, I'm going to keep it that way for now, but you don't have to. You can just not make this the function. I don't know. Maybe it's weird to do it that way. I don't know. So I've decided that I'm going to just have a variable. So ignore a variable called the tasks left. 
this might be how many tasks someone has to do. I should probably print out how many tasks you have left to do. Dude, that'd make more sense. And then I'll get back to this is stuff later because that came up with when I, when I was trying to program some other stuff. So you want to start this off, I print out, print out like an introduction. So if I run this right now, long time ago, <laughs> you're in the cafeteria, tasks are not done. So it says you're in the cafeteria. Now I got this while loop. So I, I'm saying, hey, while I still have tasks to do, I want to keep going with those tasks. So while the task left is greater than zero, that's why I'm keeping track of this. And the idea is every time I do a task, I'll subtract one from that. So I'm gonna say, print out your tasks aren't done. This just gives a one second pause. And then these are all the options of where to go. So I chose to do, cause the input is like, where do I want to go? I chose to do it this way. And I, I put this storage med bay, I put the parentheses around that letter to kind of indicate what to type in. Hopefully that's obvious. I don't know, I just did it that way. You, you can make them type out the whole word storage, I don't care. But I'm choosing to do it this way and then it says, where do you wanna go? And so I say, I wanna go to M, med bay. Say you went to med bay and you scan and your tasks are not done. So the idea is that they're gonna make one of those choices. And so if they choose S, they go to storage. Or if they choose the other letters, M, they're going to go do this or R. So let's say they choose S. Let's say I choose S right now. They're going to go to storage. And I want them to do the task in storage. We're going to just keep it as one task in each of these places to make it simple. So they empty the garbage bin and I subtract one from the tasks left. Now, I had this issue where I'm like, well, I don't want them if I just write a task. So actually, you know, back this up. Let's, let's say I, I, I want to add the elect, let's say I want to add um, cafeteria task. I'm going to show you how I got here and why I need to make the true false thing. I needed to make a check to make sure that the task hasn't already been done. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to walk you through programming that. So I go L if, let's, let's do this for a cafeteria. Choice is equal to C. Right? Means we're going to the cafeteria. Well, I want to print. You go to the cafeteria. All right. And I want to, I'm actually going to do a pause. Make it easier to read. Maybe you make it two seconds. Fine. And then what I want to do, I want to, I want them to just empty the trash. So I'm going to say print, you empty the garbage. All right. So every time they do C, and then I want to time complete for one. So every time I type C, I'm going to run that code again. Go to the cafeteria, you empty the garbage. Okay, your tasks are not done, but every time I say C, it's gonna just do this, ignoring everything else. So I know it's actually going to C, and you always wanna test your code out. Now, every time I do this, I wanna take one away from task. So I'm gonna go tasks left minus equals one. So that subtracts one from the task, right? So I run this again. And I want to go to C. Now, every time I do this, one less, one fewer task to do. But the thing is, I'm not supposed to be able to keep emptying the trash. And like I could keep going back to cafeteria and doing that task. I don't want to be able to do that. So I, I realize I'm gonna to need to create some kind of we can call it a flag. Sometimes they call it a flag, like a true or false, like or it's like a checkpoint. Have you done the cafeteria thing? Is it true or false? Then, then we're done. So this is the way I chose to make this is I'm going to use this is function here. So I'm going to say is cafeteria done. So false. That means at the start of the game, you have not done the cafeteria task. So what I want this to do is I want it to only do this part 
if that if that is a false if that's false because the task has not been completed come say if is cafeteria done equals false that's when I want it to do those three things but then I also want to change it to true so now it's true right so basically I turned it I did it I'm true that means it's not going to run it again so what happens so if it's false I want it to do this and I want to say if it, it's true like it's already been done I'm going to have it print there are no tasks left to do here and put a sleep there for a second so now what happens where do you want to go I want to go to the cafeteria Go to the cafeteria, empty the garbage, your tasks are not done. Say, so go back to the cafeteria. No cafeteria, there's no task left to do here. Now that means I have to go somewhere else. So that's why I've done it with these is statements. And if you look at the code for choice or for storage and medbay, it's all the same idea. Uh, I was thinking about this. I could have probably actually done this with a list instead. And maybe it would be better to do it as a list. Like, what if all these tasks were on a list, and after you do them, you like remove it from that list? And maybe that's better. And then that would, if you wanted to make it as a list, you could that way. Maybe. And, and maybe that would be more robust if you ever want to expand this. What if you had 50 rooms? So making 50 variables here. I could do it that way. I don't want to because I know this works. I mean, that, and that's that's where I get like earlier where it's like, if it's hard to force to do list on things because you might know how to do it without being forced to do it in a certain way. And, and I, don't, I don't really like that. It might be more elegant to have done this with a list and maybe I, I change it later. Other things I'm looking at, I, I notice how I, I kind of repeat a big chunk of code here. Like this is the same thing being said every time pretty much. Maybe, and and another thing about this is this is starting to look like really annoying. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Maybe I make these functions. So so one, one thing that can benefit you, like if this is like your main stuff you're doing here, but there's so many things to look at, this can get confusing. Maybe I wanna choose just to do these as separate functions or have like one function that can do this for every one of these. And maybe I organize it that way. So there's like, like one, of the, one of the things we learned before is like if we're repeating a part of a chunk of code a bunch, let's just make it a function and just keep calling that function a bunch. Maybe I do it that way. But nah. So, so far, so good. Um, reactor, I was on this one. Is reactor done? There we go. That's how I'm doing this. So my plan is to continue doing stuff right here. Now, I'm just gonna add, let's, let's do cafeteria, shields, navigation. So, okay, what's cool with my code now since I have three choices. I'm gonna have, let's say I go to storage and do that task. And then I can go to reactor and do that test. And then I can go to like cafeteria and do that task. And I win. I'm done. All right. So a, a few things I'm going to program for the future. I want to, I'll, I'll wrap up with the rest of these things. I want to have imposters in here. Maybe just like randomly kill you, I guess. It'd be cool. Sure. And then for the future, when I do the task, instead of saying you empty the garbage, you're going to actually have to empty the garbage over here. All right. That's what I'm planning. Um, hope it works out. And that's it for this video.